It has been one week today since we planted this seedling flat. As you can see, we have great germination. Uh, we had planted 60 seeds according to the packages. We've got over 100% germination in this row because there's 67 seedlings there and about 97% germination in these other rows here. Great germination with also the cucumbers. We have three different varieties here. And then the ambrosia cantaloupe has come up much sooner than the hearts of gold cantaloupe, which my wife was surprised because she said that these seeds are older. Now, you can have old seeds, but if you store them properly in freezing temperatures, in other words, in your freezer, or in the coldest area that you can, they can last up to 20 years or longer. Your germination rate will lower, even if these seeds were older, but were in a dry, cold area compared to these seeds, that would explain why these seeds have germinated so much better. The beans are awesome. We had some damping off in here. I did forget to put the perlite in, so I was concerned about that, but we had a little problem here and here but we planted 10% extra as we do normally. So that's not a concern. We'll have all the plants that we want in the garden. So it's time to transplant the beans and we transplant the beans from here because they are shattering each other and they're not getting as much light as they need. But as far as being healthy, strong, good color, everything looks really good. We have maintained an 80 degree temperature in the soil so we have 80.7 degrees temperature in the soil right now and it's 68 percent humidity inside the greenhouse. I use that with having a temperature probe in the center of the box about the seed height. As I mentioned in the previous video we were watering these seeds through burlap. That would break the pressure of the water and not disturb the seeds. You can see that the burlap has moved off to the side and is drying out. That is because as soon as we started seeing some germination, we moved the burlap. We saw the germination first on the bean plant, so we pulled the burlap off the bean plants and moved over here, keeping a single layer over the tomatoes and the other plants. And that happened within two days. Then when we saw germination on the fourth day with the tomatoes and the cucumbers, we took the burlap off completely. So the burlap has been off for three days now. We were watering through the burlap before germination with just plain tap water. But since we've had seedling germination, the plants now need what I call baby food, which is the Mitlider Constant Feed, which is one ounce of Mitlider Weekly Feed dissolved into three gallons of water. So we just stir this up on a daily basis or when we can tell that the soil is drying and it needs to be watered. And then we apply that using our homemade watering can. How much you need to apply will depend on the density of the soil, the size of the seedlings, and the temperature. So in other words, you have to watch it. But generally speaking, about two, two and a half, maybe three cans of water a day on a normal, warm, well-drained soil seems to work well. But it changes day to day from temperature and plant growth. When we were doing seedling production on our kitchen counter here in Idaho, or in the basement here in Idaho, or in our bathroom in Texas, we were using grow lights. But now that we're out here in the greenhouse, we haven't used any grow lights on these plants at all. So, next week we'll have another update Obviously all the beans will be transplanted and I would anticipate that these would be transplanted also. Maybe the tomatoes that we're selling, it all depends on how they're doing for light. The purpose of me showing you this is so you can see my process in preparing these seedlings for sale. You can earn a lot of money by selling seedlings and produce if you want. I'm not really interested in doing that, but I want to show people that I walk the talk and show you the process so that you can duplicate it and be successful if that's something that you'd like to do. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if ye are prepared, ye shall not fear. 
So stay tuned for next week as we do another update on the seeding production process of preparing plants for sale.